Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and I have with me Classic Jake. Howdy, folks. And New Jake. Hello. And today we're doing our COVID story part two. And we're probably going to have a part three, but for now, part two. <laughs> so, of the three people on this podcast, two of us are now fully vaccinated and one has not. Woo! <laughs> and the one that has not is not because of their own faults. So, um, classic Jake, since you're the one that has not, um, talk about that experience. Um, I think clusterfuck is the best. I mean, uh, uh, the 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 state is constantly screaming about we need to get people vaccinated. I agree. You can't conquer this disease until you're vaccinated. Problem is, seems like nobody has vaccine or there's no appointments because every time I try to get an appointment, it's months out. And then a few times I've set one, it's been canceled because they ran out of vax. They've ran out. They're not going to get any more. The places change. Uh, they, they, and I don't even, and I don't, and I can't even pick which uh, vaccine. Like, why can't I go? Why couldn't I get a vaccine from my, from my doctor, somebody who knows knows my health record, and would know which one to pick for me? I mean, I mean, I'm willing to to take any of them. I mean, even the Johnson and Johnson one, which is. I mean the 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 chance of me getting blood clots uh is a lot is is a lot less than me getting covid so I can live with those odds but I mean this is really frustrating and and some people are saying oh, why don't you go to the fairgrounds uh and I'm like going yeah the fairgrounds I might get a shot waiting in lot have to stand in line for hours on end uh with people who don't understand social distancing and then they then then only to be told, uh, oh, we're out of vaccine again. Come back tomorrow. It's just like w the early days of the uh, pandemic when everybody was trying to get hand sanitizer and toilet paper. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm like, and I'm like going, and and uh, and we're going back under lockdown again because people just just can't. They just, and I'm just getting over it. I mean, just. This is to me. I'm thinking this is the new normal. I'm going to be um, holed up in a in a house wearing a mask till the end of days. Okay, um, you would definitely get the vaccine if it was available. Oh yeah, in a heartbeat. Okay. I mean, and I know, and I know I'm going to have a reaction because I always have a reaction to any. I mean, I know, and it's going to be worse than most people. I know that going in. Because that's the way I've been since I was a little kid. You take it up like a man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, New Jake, how was your experience getting the second vaccine? Uh, I mean, uh, e even though West Virginia, um, <laughs> there's a lot of people who are like anti-mask or, you know, whatever. It was actually very smooth. And despite the ineptitude of our governor, it's, it, it's been really, really smooth and easy getting a vaccine. Um, you could go to any, almost any pharmacy around here and get one. Uh, I just went uh, a couple place, a couple blocks away from me to get my second one, and uh, unfortunately, it was pretty rough getting my second vaccine. Like the side effects of it. And for the audience, just in case they didn't listen or don't remember, you uh, got the Pfizer vaccine, correct? Yes, yes, I did. I got the second dose of the Pfizer. Uh, I mean, like the, the first uh, reaction was very easy. It was just a sore arm. But the second uh, vaccine, I did get a sore arm, but it wasn't as bad as the first time. But I did get sick. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I was on mandatory overtime. I did get sick then. It was after work. I just, I got cold chills really bad. And I got a fever. Uh, felt really achy, so I, I felt like I had the flu essentially, and those uh, symptoms lasted for twelve hours. And this was fifteen hours after getting the shot or so, and and then for a couple days afterwards, I was still a little weak, 
but I did have a lymph node swell underneath my right arm, and it was very tender and kind of hard to work with. That was my experience. How long has it been since you got in it? Uh, nine days now. And now you feel fine? Oh yeah, I felt fine. Like I mean, those those most of those symptoms only lasted twelve hours, so I was pretty much good to go, except for my lymph node. It took a couple of days. Okay. So my experience. Um. So I got my first from Moderna, from a local city, and um, I'm not gonna name names. So that was. A whole different experience. So I was like okay, waiting for a week for dose two, and I was like, okay, now what? Do I go to the website and and uh, um, do, you know, I, I try to log in the website, and I don't know what's going on with this website, but every time it would, you know, password would fail, and then um, I would try to reset the password, and then they'll send me an email link, and then I click the link, and then it sends me the reset page, and then just like a never ending loop where I would go to the link to reset it and then it'll send me out to reset it to and just it drove me crazy and I eventually just called um, and there it took me a while to figure out how to talk to a person and they're like yeah um, we don't really know what supply we're gonna get until the week of so we can't like do an appointment or anything it's like all right whatever um, so I get an email. Okay, your uh, second dose is automatically created. Uh, we made a, a appointment for you on Tuesday, and at five thirty p.m., which uh, sucks because how the hell am I supposed to plan my day for that? And this is supposed to be like in downtown, so I'm gonna hit traffic both ways. So yeah, that's that's really out of my way, and it's a really t- bad time. Where the first time was like at ten, you know, I could okay, I could deal, you know, and this it's like oh, I have to go into five o'clock traffic or four o'clock traffic because there's always traffic at four, not just at five. <laughs> it gets worse at five. So I called. They're like, yeah, we can't reschedule because we don't know what's happening next week. It's like oh, for the love of God. <laughs> And, uh, you know, you just have to, uh, you know, take it. It's like, all right. So I started looking outside of the city that I did it with. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go to Walgreens. Why not? I went to Walgreens.com. They're like, oh, yeah, we have vaccinations near you. Cool. Uh, put uh, this work, this address work for you. It's like maybe five miles from my house. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. How does this time sound? Which was like 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday. It's like, beautiful. And it's like, which one, did you, uh, when was the last time you got it? And enter date. Enter date. Okay, you qualify. Which one, Moderna or Pfizer? Moderna. Okay, we have it then. We have it there. You be here at 9.35 a.m. On, I was like, okay. So I go over there, bring my card, and no one's in Walgreens, which is Okay. <laughs> it's complete ghost town at 9.30 on a Tuesday and um, the pharmacist is there, she gave me the, the a paper to fill out real quick and then five minutes later I, I got into the room and they gave me my shot and they uh, put on my um, S, the, the CDC card, they put a sticker they didn't write on there, I don't know why and then they gave me a coupon for Walgreens for like five dollars. If you buy ten dollars, you get five dollars off or something, because I chose to get my vaccine from them. Oh, that's nice. It's like okay, and you know I felt you know arm hurting and a little bit hunger. Um, that day, my wife got it the day before, and she was tired. Um, so I took like a half day then. Um, or not like a half day, like, you know, I gave up, I stopped working around three and, you know, I usually work till five. It's like, all right, that's fine. You know, I just took a nap and there's a, you know, arm was so swollen next day. Um, just tired still, even though I slept more and, um, just the fatigue and my arms being, t- you know, sore. And I did a half day then and slept and. Um, my arm is now fine. It's been about, I got it on Tuesday. It's now Sunday. So 
couple days. And I feel like I'm 99% back, if not 100%. So, yeah, that's basically my story. Um, I was I did call the government agency uh, place where I got it and told them, hey, I got it from over here. I'm going to cancel my appointment for 530. So that way someone else can get it. To be considerate and be a decent person. <laughs> and not to be flaky. Um, so... I was like, okay, cool. And I got my card and I'm I'm good to go. And I haven't really felt anything in a couple of days. And my wife, after those like two days of being tired, she's fine too. So that's our experience. Um I mean I guess maybe you could fly over here, Jake, and get it at Walgreens. I don't know. <laughs> um because maybe that's a way you could do it, because there seems to be not much demand anymore over here. Um, since I live within walking distance of a Walgreens, and I can't get an appointment. And, like, I didn't have to... I've tr- Before, I tried to go to Walgreens multiple times, and had issues left and right with the website crashing, and then having the wrong information, and, like... Uh, I did like initially get my first shot scheduled through there, but then it said let's order the second one, and then they didn't have uh, access to have the dates, so it just crashed. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. So now my look uh, where I live, they're having like open after five o'clock times, so you could get it like five to ten p.m. and you know you don't even have to call in anymore; you just walk in. And they just give you the time and, you know, say this time, this day. And then they put like multiple days of the week and boom, you go over there, wait in line and you leave. Oh, they still have here. They still have restrictions. In fact, the only way I could even access the calendar to get, get a, uh, get an appointment was to lie. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Cause I still don't. Yeah. Even though I'm, um, on the older side, I'm still not technically old enough. Um, so I lied, and so I've been lying and saying I live in a multi generational household, which is sort of technically kind of true, but not really. Yeah, for me, the website says, "Are you over the age of sixteen? Do you are are you obese? Are you you know all those things?" And if yes, then you got it. So it's like, yeah, I'm over sixteen. So. I am obese too, so sure. No. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's our story for part two. Uh eventually we'll do a part three with uh Classic Jake whenever you get the vaccine, hopefully soon. Yeah, either or yeah, the, the, we're having the soap opera. Will I get vaccinated or catch COVID? I mean, that's where we're at right now. Hopefully you don't catch COVID, hopefully you get the yeah. vaccine. And uh, yeah. ho- hopefully we all win the lottery too. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and I would, and I, I, and I'm looking forward to a world where I don't have to use hand sanitizer every five minutes. With that, uh, we'll take uh, wrap up this podcast. Take care, everyone. Be safe. It's still pretty bad out there. You don't know who has it, who doesn't have it. So be safe. Bye. 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 Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano3D, Mr. Bengal5, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3 d or 2 d at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.